Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So as you guys can tell by the title, today I am going to be doing, showing you guys my perfume collection, some of my favorite perfumes. Um, I have a little decent collection. 95% of the perfumes that I have here, um, I probably love, love. The other 5% I think I do need to declutter. I'm going to be doing that soon. So I've been into perfume since I was like a really young girl. I think I was about maybe 11, 12, around that age. I remember that when we used to live in California in Los Angeles, my mom used to sell perfumes from this catalog and we would go to, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but in Los Angeles, um, there's this place called Plaza Mexico and they had this store. This was probably over like 13, 14, 15 years ago. Um, I really don't remember, but it was a long time ago. And there was this bodega, this store, and they would sell perfumes and my mom would resell them. And I remember we would get the perfumes super cheap and I was obsessed with perfume. And I think it was around that time that I really started getting into perfumes. I think I was barely in my teens and I just loved going to the store with my mom and buying perfumes and she would get them cheaper. It was such an amazing time. Just good old memories. But anyway, before we get right into the video, if you guys are new here, hi, welcome. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. And let's get started, you guys. These are in no particular order. I'm just gonna grab them and go and by the way little disclaimer i am not a perfume scientist i don't remember the notes at the top of my head um, i'll just let you guys know if they're good if they're not good if i'm gonna declutter etc and let's get started you guys so we're gonna start off with this one okay and this is this is paco Rabanne fame honestly i i like this i feel like a lot of perfumes smell like this but it's good it's nice Although I think I've sprayed this like two or three times maybe. Getting super dusty, but I think the bottle's kind of cute. Smells very fruity, mango-ish. Perfect for like the summer. And yeah, this is a Fame by Paco Rabanne. Next up here we have Jo Malone. This is the Peony and Blush. Peony and Blush. And honestly, I bought this a couple months ago. I hardly even have sprayed anything i think i've only used it once i liked it at the store and i was obsessed with it it smells very fresh perfect for like summer clean spring like i said i liked it at the store but when i sprayed it on me i wasn't that much into it and i i'm pretty sure i'm gonna declutter this one but yeah joe malone peony and Blush. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but next up here we have Jador by Dior, and this is the newer version that came out. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure, but uh, this one smells really good. The bottle is so classy. It smells very classy, pretty girl. Perfect for like brunch, daytime, lunch type of vibe. Like I said, very classy, floral, milky. I just love this one so much. It's also giving like fresh vibes. I love this. Next up, Libre Le Parfum. And I love this. I love this for fall and winter. This one is one of my favorite perfumes. Very warm, sexy, perfect for daytime, nighttime, I think, fall, winter. Um, I love this. YSL Libre Le Parfum. Oh, don't mind my nails. Next up here we have Gucci Flora. This is one of my favorite summer fragrances. A very floral, sweet. It has the notes here in the back and it says it has white gardenia, jasmine, pear blossom. Love this for summer. It's one of my favorites. Next up here we have Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. One of my favorite perfumes. Perfect for vacation. It smells very coconutty, luxurious, luxurious sunscreen type of vibes. This is one of my favorite summer perfumes. I love this. Next up here we have YSL's Black Opium. I think I've had this perfume for a really long time already and I was obsessed with it at one point. I haven't picked this up in a really long time, probably like over a year. Um, but this was one of my favorites. It still smells good, perfect for like winter. It's very warm, vanilla, sexy, daytime. This one lasts a really long time. I really love this at one point and I think I'm gonna start wearing this more often this winter maybe i don't know but yeah this is ysl's black opium next up here we have miss dior absolutely blooming i love this for spring it's very it's very floral and fresh at the same time next up here i have l'imperatrice and this is by dolce and gabbana 
you guys i love the simplicity of this bottle i think it's so cute i really like how this perfume smells very watermelon fruity perfect for spring perfect for summer very fresh i just got this one a couple months ago used it a couple times but i think this one smells really good so this is noche and gabbana limperatriz next up here we have mfk and this is feminine plural y'all did you guys hear my stomach Anyway, this is Feminine Plural by MFK. This one smells so good. It's very fresh and floral, very pretty girl, clean girl type of vibe. This one smells so good. I love it for like springtime, summer kind of vibe. If you want to smell like fresh and clean, um, definitely recommend this one because it smells so good. Love this. Next up here, I have Kayali, and this is Vanilla 28, one of my favorite vanilla perfumes. Very easy to wear, it smells like brown sugar, it's very sweet, very like intoxicating. It doesn't last too long, but I really love this perfume. This is Kayali Vanilla 28. On to the next one, here I have Miss Dior. And this is one of my favorite perfumes. It smells so good. You will get compliments. Very floral. Perfect for like spring, summer. Probably all year round. Very feminine. It smells so good. Easy to reach for. Probably one of my favorite perfumes. The bottle is so cute. I absolutely love this. So this is Miss Dior by Dior. Next up in my collection, here I have Bond. And this is Greenwich Village. This is one of my favorite perfumes. It smells so good. It smells very rich, very feminine, but at the same time, it's not too loud. Um, and I absolutely love this Greenwich Village by Bond. Next up here, I have C by Giorgio Armani. I think it's one of my favorites, although I don't really wear it as often, but I love the memories that it brings me back. So I really like this one. This is Giorgio Armani C. Next up here, I have Tom Ford. This is the Tobacco Vanilla. You guys, this smells Oh, this smells so good. I love this for fall time and winter. It smells like a rich horchata. If you have you guys tried horchata? Um, if you guys haven't tried horchata, it's like a rice, a Mexican rice milk water. I don't know, but this gives me horchata vibes, but like rich horchata vibes. Like this would be an expensive horchata drink. It smells like vanilla, cinnamon, or I don't know, but love this for fall and winter. One of my favorites, and this is. Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Please don't judge my nails. I'm not I'm not gonna argue with you guys. Alright, next up here I have Nishane. Nishani. I, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but girl, why is there a hair? This is the hundred silent ways. I blind bought this perfume like over a year ago, probably. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, at first I didn't like it. I don't know what it was giving me but it was giving me like more mature it was giving like rich lady that goes to church on a sunday vibes that's what it was giving me but not anymore i've used it way more times now and i absolutely love this it's a very sweet it's very intoxicating very strong you only need like a couple of sprays of this this will last on your skin a really really long time classy rich yeah, this is Nishane, 100 Silent Ways. Next up here I have the Valentino perfume. Is What's it called? I think it's just Valentino. Valentino Eau de Parfum Intense. This one smells... This one smells really good. Very sweet, floral. Gives me Donna Born in Roma vibes, but in a lighter version. Somewhere in there, but yeah. This is Valentino. Next up here I have Carolina very good girl i don't know what version this is but this is the one with the glitter it smells sexy perfect for date night i think i've only worn it like twice if anything but i think the bottle is super cute with the stiletto i love it next up here i have k ali and this is the vanilla royale sugar patchouli i bought this like last year only worn it once it smells good i like it but I don't reach for it. It has vanilla, rum, cream brulee, brown sugar, royal oud, sugared patchouli. It has the notes in the back here, which I really love. The bottle is cute. I need to start wearing this. I think this is more like winter, fall, nighttime. I need to start wearing this one more often because the vanilla smells so good. Next up here, I have Jimmy Choo. Don't know the name of it. 
I got this a long time ago, wore it a couple times, but I don't think I really love it. Definitely would probably declare this. I feel really bad, but I've only used this like two or three times. It smells nice, but I don't love it because I love other perfumes. Next up here I have Zerjov and this is Erva Pura and bitch. This is one of my favorite perfumes ever in my collection. So sexy, so intoxicating, so strong, so tropical. Ugh, this smells so good. One of my favorites, Zerjov. Next up here I have Versace, Versace, and this is Crystal Noir. And you guys, I really like this perfume. I don't wear it as often, but this is giving bad bitch vibes. Damn, they're super dusty. I really need to clean my perfumes. But this is giving batty, batty vibes. I love this for like winter. It smells so, I feel like this is very cold. Like this smells so sexy. Coconut, I don't know, but. I really like this and I need to start wearing this more often because it smells good. And this is Versace Crystal Noir. Next up here I have Dolce & Gabbana and this is the only one. I really like this. Gourmand, very yummy. Winter, fall time in my opinion. It smells sexy. I think you guys all know the name but bitch. <sighs> if you hate it, I'm sorry that you hate it. But this is one of my favorite perfumes of all times and... I would repurchase this over and over again. Baccarat, Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540. One of my favorites. Smells so rich, so freaking intoxicating, so empowering. People will smell you very long lasting. Like, it's, it's that bitch. This is giving boss bitch vibes. Next up here I have YSL and this is Mon Paris. Love this for summer. Love, love, love. Very fruity, very floral, very springtime, lunchtime, brunch time vibes. Very girly, very uplifting. I love how it makes me feel. This reminds me, I've said this on my channel before, but this reminds me of the bubble gum with the zebra. You know, the ones that have the little tattoo thing. That's what it reminds me of, and it smells so good. I love this. Next up, here I have. Louis Vuitton and this is the okay maybe I should switch my hands up because this one is not cute okay next up here I have Louis Vuitton and this is what could is the absence um I don't know okay I don't know but all I know is that this smells good I really like this perfume clean very springtime floral but clean i think it has jasmine i'm not sure but love this perfect for daytime running errands work if you just want to smell clean and pretty this is a very good perfume really like it so this is louis vuitton hercules next up in my collection we have joe malone and this is wood sage and sea salt cologne you guys i don't pick this up as often i feel like this is a very hmm, i feel like this is very spring vibes very clean, perfect for summer also. Very fresh and clean, perfect for work, perfect for daytime running errands. I believe this perfume is unisex and it does lean a little more on the like masculine side, but I really like this. It's most fresh, but you guys, I don't know. I really like this. So this is Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Next up here I have Delina and this is the exclusive. I prefer this one over the original. It smells so pretty. This is very unique. Really like this. Very girly, very powdery. I don't know, but really love this. Next up, here I have Si Pasión by Giorgio Armani. I really like this. Very sexy. Next up, Twilly de Hermes. And this is U Pavori. Poivori. I don't know what it's called. I really like this. It has ginger. I think this is more like a fall, winter type of perfume. It's warm. It has ginger. Um, definitely not for everyone. If you're not into ginger or spicy scents, I don't think this is good for you. At first I thought it was giving grandma vibes, but I still remember that when I went to Sephora, I sprayed this on me. And girl, I had to go back to get it because I really like the smell of it. I don't know, it's kind of different. But yeah, more mature vibes, but it smells good and I like it. So that is Twilly. Next up here I have Byredo and this is Mojave Ghost. 
I really love this. This is more on the fresh side. I think it's unisex as well. I'm not sure. It's very clean. It's very different. If you just want to smell fresh and clean, I really like this perfume. Do these count? Oils, Nest Coconut Balinese, Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. Perfect to layer. It will make your perfumes last longer. I pair this one with the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, but love this. This one smells so good. Highly recommend this one for summer. Very coconutty, very delicious. Love it. Next up here, we have Gris Dior by Dior or Gris Dior. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but you guys, this one smells really good. It's, I do, I would say that this perfume is not for everyone. I love this for springtime. It's giving floral. It smells very different, more mature, more, I, I don't know, but I like this one. Next up here, I have Angel Share, and this is by Killian. And I love this. The bottle is super cute. It's giving, give me a glass of, you know, smells like apple, cinnamon, pie, somewhere in between. I love this. Alcoholic, boozy. You definitely want to wear this around the sugar daddies. It smells so good, so delicious. Next up, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Girl, this is one of my favorite perfumes. I think I've been repurchasing this perfume for over the past 12, 13 years, if anything. This is a staple in my collection. So classy, so timeless. Absolutely one of my favorites. Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. So this is Chance Chanel and this is the Old Tundra. One of my favorite, favorite perfumes ever. So easy to reach for, perfect for every day, very girly. Hands down, one of my favorites. Because I love it so much, I recently had a Ulta gift card and I wanted another perfume but I didn't know which one to get so I got me a little one because how cute. Definitely a favorite. Next up here I have Prada Paradox. Love this so much. Very girly, feminine, very brunch type of vibes. I think the bottle is really cute. I love this. Very easy to reach for. Next up here I have Versace and this is and this is the Dylan Purple. I hate that it doesn't last that long, but really love this. Very fruity, very juicy, fresh, perfect for summer, springtime. This smells so good. Next up, here I have Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Girl, this is one of my favorite perfumes. Oh, Long-lasting, vanilla, warm. To me, this is perfect for just every day, all day, anything, anytime, anywhere. This is her. Next up, here I have Louis Vuitton Atrape Reves. I just got this one a couple months ago for my birthday. Oh, it smells so good. This is one of my favorite, favorite perfumes right now. Probably have worn this like a good three times since I got it. But you guys, this is really, really good. Sweet, sexy, fun, fruity, floral. Perfect for going out, date night, sexy. I don't know, but this is really, really good. Definitely one of my favorites. I need to start using this one way more. Summer, it's giving pretty girl, feminine all that like this is her too next up here i have chance chanel and this is the o vibe or however you pronounce it i really like this as well perfect for like daytime running errands smells clean and fresh next up here i have ysl libre and this is the original one and i really really love this this is such a good good perfume Pretty girl, born vanilla, everyday, giving sexy, I don't know, but I really love this. Next up, Burberry, her elixir. <sighs> so, so good. Strawberries and cream, like very pretty girl, feminine, so yummy, so, so good. Like a rich strawberry milkshake, this is so good, I love it. Next up, another perfume by MFK, and this is Gentle Fluidy Gold. <sighs> this is amazing, this is... This is a must have in my collection. I will keep repurchasing this over and over again. This is like vanilla, warm, delicate, sophisticated, pretty girl, so rich, so good, so, oh, so, oh. I, I, like she's delicate, she's that girl and this is, this is just everything to me. This is special. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it smells so, so good. One of my favorites. We're on to our last perfume, and this is Flower Bomb. And this 
perfume is so so special i will also keep repurchasing this one over and over again i think i first purchased this when i was like 18 or 19 and i've been buying it ever since this reminds me so much of when i was in my young girl hot girl era and the memories that it has like this i will forever forever have this and cherish this and i love this oh i love it it smells amazing floral it just smells so good and i love this one of my favorites forever and ever I'm probably gonna buy this till I'm a viejita. Anyway, that is it for my perfume collection. I have a bunch of like the travel sizes that are different from what I have here. But I'm not gonna show you those today. And that is everything for my perfume collection. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely need to declutter some of these because I don't wear them anymore. And I don't want them to just be like taking up space, getting dusted. You know, I'll probably just give them to my mom or something. But I just love how every perfume brings you back to like a certain point in your life or like you know certain memories and i just love that about perfume and that is everything you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what you guys think down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye